Hey friends, I'm glad you're here this week. We're going to, oh, hang on a sec. Okay, sorry about that. Anyways, this week we're gonna be talking about, sorry, just, let me, let me just put that on silent. I'm just getting a ton of notifications from my most recent post. I just spent the weekend volunteering at a homeless shelter and I wanted everyone to know it. Here's the caption. Feeling blessed to get to help out at the homeless shelter this weekend. Hashtag blessed, hashtag helpful, hashtag coolest alive. That's me. Man, my phone made a lot of interruptions and noise, but these things, our phones, are really good at grabbing our attention. Ever wonder how people in the past got people's attention? Trumpets. Hear ye, hear ye, the Honorable Andrew is speaking. Back in the time of the Bible, sometimes fancy people would have trumpeteers blast noise so you'd have to pay attention to them. And as you can see, it's pretty effective. Getting to people's attention isn't necessarily a bad thing. In fact, there's sometimes really important to do. It's good to get people's attention if there's an emergency. But did you know that Jesus spoke about one area of life where we shouldn't try to draw any of attention? You wonder what that is? Let's see if you can guess and let's look at it now in our story. God's story generosity. So part of God's story is about how he wants us to be generous, and it goes like this. Being generous means sharing what you have. It's something God has always asked his followers to do. Remember how God built a special family called the Israelites? They were his very first followers. He taught them what to do by giving them laws, like giving 10% of everything they had back to God. That's called tithing. God even said to test him. If they obeyed and were generous with what he gave them, he would give them exactly what they needed. See, God is generous, and he wants us to be like him. He sent his greatest treasure, his son Jesus, to earth. Jesus left the kingdom of heaven and gave up his life to rescue us so that one day we can be a part of God's kingdom and live in it with him forever. Basically, Jesus gave up everything for us. Anyway, when Jesus was here, he showed us even more about being generous. In fact, Jesus said we can not only give a tithe, but we can give way more than that. We can give thirsty people water and hungry people food. We can visit people who are lonely and pray for people who are hurting. He did that all the time. He said when we do that, it's like we're giving to Him. Jesus actually told us when we're generous, we show Him we love Him. He said, your heart will always be where your treasure is. That's a fancy way of saying you spend your money on what you care about. In the Bible, one day, a rich guy came up to Jesus and asked what he could do to live forever in God's kingdom. Jesus said, go and sell everything you have. Give the money to those who are poor. You will have treasure in heaven. Then, come and follow me. Jesus wants us to follow him with our whole hearts and care about him more than anything. Unfortunately, the man went away sad because he couldn't put his treasure in heaven. He loved the stuff he had on earth too much. Another time, Jesus watched people give offerings at the temple. One woman only put in a few small coins, but Jesus told his disciples, that poor widow has put more into the offering box than all the others. They all gave a lot because they are rich, but she gave even though she is poor. She put in everything she had. That was all she had to live on. The widow gave everything to Jesus, just like Jesus gave everything to us. Like the rich guy and the poor widow, all of us have different ways we can give. The Bible actually says we should give what we want. After all, God loves a cheerful giver. When we share joyfully with others, we're showing love to God. Our generosity shows Jesus how much we love him, just like his generosity shows how much he loves us. And that's the story of generosity. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. God asks us to be generous. He wants us to be like him. God sent Jesus to us. Jesus gave up his life. Jesus showed us how to give. 
We give to things we care about. The rich guy cared about his stuff. The poor woman cared about Jesus. Jesus cares about us. We can love Jesus back by being generous. And that's a part of God's story. Uh Uh-oh, I think I might have a post I need to take down. I guess when we do good things or help others, we're not supposed to flex it like that. I mean, I guess I was missing the point about helping at the homeless shelter. I wasn't supposed to do it just so I could look really good to all my friends. I'm just supposed to help out because it's the right thing to do. Maybe that's you. Maybe you've done the right thing just so other people saw you a certain way. If you've done that, don't stress out too much about it. God wants to forgive you of the things that you've done wrong. But the second part of that is we need to change our attitude towards doing the right thing. The Bible says we shouldn't let our left hand know what our right hand is doing. Now, obviously we can't actually do that, but the point it's making is that we shouldn't be showing off the things that we're doing. Instead, we're supposed to do the things so God can see them. All right, let's pray about that now together. Dear God, help us to have the attitude to do the things for the right reasons and not to try to show it off God. God, help us to put the attention only on the right things and have the attention on the most important thing, you, God. God, I pray that we go on this week, God. I pray that everybody would have a fantastic week and that they would do something nice for somebody without looking for anybody to notice it. In your name I pray, amen. All right, thanks for joining us this week online. Have a fantastic rest of your week and we can't wait to see you back here online or in person at one of our three campuses. Have a great week. Bye.